Hello, I am here. My name is Mary Hopper and I am here today with my friend Tosh and both of us are uh, business owners. We both own a couple businesses and we're just here to talk about um, habits that we have um, incorporated into our lives, our businesses to create financial success for ourselves and our family. So we're going to share, we're each going to share three tips today and Tosh has something to share. But um, so I'll just introduce myself really quickly. I'm Mary Hopper. This is Clara. I own Natural Plus Nursery. I live in Iowa and um, it is a retail nursery. It's a seasonal business and we're 42 oh, years yeah. in the business. So, and we've owned it for seven. So Tosh, do you want to explain your business or introduce sure. yourself? Sure. Thanks, Mary. Um, so I'm Tash, Tash Reynolds. Uh, I have a couple businesses. I am a business coach. I help small businesses create financial security. I help um, really change people's relationship with money in their business to make sure that they are having success um, as they start out their new entrepreneurial journey or, you know, once they've been in that entrepreneurial journey for a while. Um, I also own an online jewelry company that I've run since 2017. Um, and really a lot of the different habits that I've developed have come directly from running that online business. So um, that business is called Peppermint and Pine. And uh, yeah, those are the two businesses that that I currently run awesome should we just jump right in do you want to share your tips or do you want to yeah. do the quote first well, let's do a quote so I had heard I read this quote this morning and I just thought it was so powerful and it got me thinking a little bit about some habits so um, it's by James Clear who wrote Atomic Habits It's actually from um, an excerpt from Atomic Habits habits.com sorry um, and he says it doesn't matter how successful or unsuccessful you are right now what matters is whether your habits are putting you on a path towards success. You should be far more concerned with your current trajectory than with your current results. If you're a millionaire, but you spend more than you earn each month, then you're on a bad trajectory. If your spending habits don't change, it's not going to end well. Conversely, if you're broke, but you save a little bit every month, then you're on the path towards financial freedom even if you're moving slower than you'd like. And I just, you know, got me thinking a little bit about the different habits that we create in our businesses and how critical they are to just to really start building them in the world of money and finance to ensure that you are on that path because you can be a millionaire and be broke. Yep. That's just a fact. Yep. You can be a broke millionaire. Um, and so that's not, I think, the goal for anybody. When someone says, I want to be a millionaire, they want to have a million dollars. They want to feel financially secure. That's ultimately the goal. Yes. So how, how do we do that, Mary, in our businesses? Yep. And I think that you, know, you and I really just came up with what are the three things that we yeah. do and, and we wanted to share them with you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want me to start? Because sure, you go first. My, one mine. of mine is kind of, it leads into that. So um, one of it is bit by bit. Um, day by day, one small little thing each day. You can't, the, the, you know, the quote or the saying, how do you eat an elephant? It's one bite at a time. So you can't expect to set this goal of having a million dollars in the bank and then do one thing and think that you're going to have a million dollars. So maybe, maybe, but doubtful. So it's each day you have to be doing it bit by bit. And that leads me into um, knowing where you are. So that's number two, knowing where you are financially, um, which means logging into your QuickBooks, logging into your bank account daily. I suggest doing that, those things daily. Um, the more information you have about your business, the reports that you pull up, understand. Um, I, I'm embarrassed to admit this, but a couple years ago, I didn't know what a profit and loss statement was. I just didn't know. I was embarrassed. I didn't know who to ask. I was like, I, I don't know what that means. And um, I hired a bookkeeper. So that's my number three. I hire, ask for help. Hire somebody that knows and can teach you. Um, I, I, and now I feel empowered. I feel like I have the knowledge I need to make the decisions in our business to become financially secure and stable. So those are my big things, bit by bit, day by day, um, knowing where you are and asking for help, hire somebody to help you, or just ask a friend that maybe is a step ahead of you in their business um, to get started. But I do believe hiring somebody or putting money down, investing, uh, holds you accountable and, and gets you further. So those are my tips. 
one of my goals for folks that I work with is to get them to love their bank accounts. So many people don't want to look like when I take polls and I say, who like loves their bank account, who goes and wants to like see what's up in there. So many people are not interested in seeing what's up in there. They, they don't even want to look. It's like, Ugh, I'd rather just not know. Yeah. I, I love going into my bank account every day and seeing what's there. It's empowering. It's yeah. really good for me to know. I actually have gotten myself to a point where I like paying bills because I know the money's there to pay the bills. So it's like, sweet, here you go. That's for you. You know, it feels nice versus feeling yeah. fearful of what it looks like in there. And money is um, energy. So paying the bills is means that un yeah. money is flowing both ways. So that's what I yeah. love about when I look yeah. at money yeah. that way, instead of a negative thing, it just feels good. Yeah. We'll have to do a whole nother segment on yeah. mindset. Yeah. Around money. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So my three, um, habits that I practice, um, number one, pay yourself. I pay myself. So I think that's really important. I know a lot of business owners are like, no, I don't take a paycheck. I put it right back into my business to grow it. I get the theory, but I think from a mindset place that leaves you in a place of not having enough. There's not enough there to pay you. You don't have to pay yourself oodles and oodles of dollars, but I do think it's important to pay yourself. That's good for your psyche and your brain to say, Hey, I've done something and it's worth it. And look, I've made a little bit of money or I've made some money doing that. So I think it's really important to pay yourself, even if it's just a little bit. So I pay myself. The second thing, I have a plan and a business budget. So kind of like my personal budget, I have a business budget. I know exactly what my expenses are going to be. I know how much money needs to be in those pots. And so when I do have money coming into my business, I fill those pots. I fill that budget up in a particular way. And one of those lines, one of those business lines is salary like pay myself. So that's in there so that I know money's coming. And then the third one that I think is just critical for everybody, whether it's your personal budget or your business budget is to spend less than you earn. Mm -hmm. now, I want to leave a little like asterisk with that because sometimes, especially when we're setting up, starting out, sorry, we have, sometimes we have to buy things. Like when I started Peppermint and Pine, I needed inventory, but I didn't have, you know, all of the money to, to spend on inventory. I had to, I had to borrow money in order to buy those things. Right. But then when you have a plan, which is my second habit is a plan, I'm able to actually, um, pay off that amount that I borrowed because it's in my plan. And then eventually that just goes away and you're building equity in this other element of your business as you go. So my three habits are I pay myself. Um, I have a plan and a business budget and I spend less than I earn. I love it. I see a couple more. Um, next time we get together, we're going to talk about the money piece, the energy piece of it. And I also think a simple budget might be another, Ooh, another topic for a video. So, cause I wanted to ask you what, how do you set up your budget? But we're going to end this video. Now we've got, you've got six tips now to think about and to start, um, implementing into your business uh, and we'll, we'll be back for more. I think this is going to be something we do um, again and again. So uh, thanks for tuning in and we will see you all again soon.